I'm trying something new today. Oh, well, I'm trying a couple things new today. For one, as you can probably tell, there's some painting, digital painting, uh, going on in the background. And two, I didn't script this video. Not to say that my actual scripted videos are of higher quality, but we're just gonna go see how this goes. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about digital painting, at least from my perspective, which is, that is to say, not very good. I am by no means uh, an artist, at least I don't identify as one. I like doing art in my free time. It's a nice hobby. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I think digital painting is very interesting in the sense that you have to struggle a little bit before things start actually taking form. Everything you see right now is obviously sped up by 2000% to be exact. And we'll get into a little why, a bit why that is later. But goddamn, it's really difficult. Just starting off a painting, putting blobs of color on a paper. In this case, I'm keeping everything monochromatic, you know, between white and black. But oh, it is so tough. That first hour or so before things start to finally take shape. I mean, now you can kind of see what's going on. You know, we got some rocks, some waterfalls, oh, maybe some maybe some ocean in the distance. I mean, you can't really tell at this point, but I think the hardest part about starting a digital painting is just getting to the point where things actually look like what you intend them to actually be. Another thing, uh, I don't want anyone to get the wrong idea and think that I'm actually talented at something. So I'm gonna put that put this out there. I'm copying from reference. Uh, this is what some artists would call like a study. I'm trying to learn how to paint by value. Uh, so not worried too much about colors, but to be perfectly clear, I do have a reference photo, which I will be throwing up and I'll probably be referencing or I'll probably give credit to whoever decided to take that photo. It is a beautiful photo after all. And all I'm really doing is just trying to copy the values, you know, see how the light plays off of certain things. You can see I'm trying to work on this rock face. It's, it, it doesn't, it doesn't look very good. I, I probably did multiple passes over this and that right most rock face. Ooh, I can just never get it to look right everything else i think went pretty well i think the hills look like hills even though you can't really tell what kind of grass or texture is on but obviously i'll do a side by side comparison at the very end i think with particularly empty landscapes like the one that i'm painting right now it's really hard to paint this sort of like grassy field without it just being one color like how do i put texture on something that supposedly in real life is all just one thing without ma it making super flat and as you can tell or maybe you can't tell but on my screen i can certainly tell it's 5000 percent speed right now and at 5000 percent speed it gets kind of choppy it honestly looks unbearable on my screen i won't know what the final product will look like until i've actually rendered the video but i assure you on my screen right now i'm actually just I'm going super same. I'm actually jumping all over the painting and doing whatever. In this way, I can do less live commentary, but in another way, it just makes the whole time lapse thing just look hideous. Uh, and that's 5,000%. 2,000% is a nice medium, as you can probably tell. It captures all of my brush strokes and it's smooth enough that it's not like obnoxious on the eyes. Kind of like this is right now, but. Right now, upcoming now, that's going to be 10,000%. Why did I do 10,000%? Ah, I just wanted to see how bad it looked. Uh, and also to kill time, because if I did everything or all the footage that I had at 2,000%, I would be doing live commentary for seven minutes instead of what probably will end up being five minutes. And five minutes of embarrassing live commentary from me is much more bearable than seven minutes of live commentary. So. We're going to slow back down because I will not offend your eyes with 10,000% speed anymore. We're going back down to 2,000% speed and of course the final leg of this digital painting. The last thing I wanted to bring up about digital painting though is it's really tough to determine when I'm, I'm finished with one, you know? Ideally, I would not be finished with the digital painting until it looks just like my reference photo, but you get diminishing returns at some point. I could copy every pixel value from that photo onto this painting and in theory if I spent enough time it would look just like it but the whole reason I'm doing this is to learn and at some point these small minor details will become less valuable in terms of me trying to emulate them I will try and copy but I will just not get as much out of it so the point at which I decide to stop is the point I say ah screw it I'm done I also don't feel like working on this anymore and also I've learned as much as I can 
out of this painting. And I really did like how this one turned out, and more so that I decided to record it and do a time lapse of it. Uh, there is something oddly satisfying about just watching this digital painting come to fruition from basically blobs on a page to, oh, that looks like a mountain, or oh, that looks like rocks and fields and water. So I'll throw up a side by side once I'm very finished, or once I'm completely done with this, and I'll slap the audio of my live commentary onto it, and then I'll mm, full send it. So I hope you guys all enjoyed that. Uh, we'll see if I do more of this in the future. Who knows? Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Anyways, thanks for watching. Thank you.